So friends, if you're using HDFC bank application and if you want to know how to transfer money from your bank account to another bank account, then this video is for you. I'm going to guide you through each and every step. Before that, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. So first of all, open HDFC bank application and complete the login process. Now once the application is completely started, this is the kind of basic interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. Now, no matter which device you're using, if you're using iPhone or Android, the process is going to be same. Once you open HDFC application, just simply tap on money transfer and on the next page, select add or manage pays. Now on this particular page, you will be able to check out all the beneficiary or pay account which you have added already. But if in case you have not added any pay account, then tap on add pay. Now on the next page, you need to select transfer type. So we are going to transfer from our bank account to another bank account, then select bank account option over here. Uh, now the next thing is you need to enter pay details or the beneficiary details. So simply tap over here. Uh, now you have two options over here. If you're transferring from HDFC bank account to another HDFC bank account, then select first option. But if you're transferring money from your HDFC bank account to another bank, which is of you, you can say Indescent Bank or IDFC or any other bank, then select non HDFC bank account. Now you need to enter the pay details like you need to, uh, you know, uh, enter the name, you need to enter the account number two types and after that you need to select the account type, it is saving or current, uh, current account. After that, uh, over here you can enter the IFSC code and once you enter the pay details, select continue. Now over here you can see I have entered all the details, let's select continue option. Now on the next page, you need to confirm all the details and then select confirm to save this pay account. Now also you need to keep in mind that once you add new pay account, it will be activated after 30 minutes. So you will be able to do transaction after 30 minutes. So you have to wait, but before that tap on confirm option and you will get an OTP on your mobile number. So select continue, enter the OTP over here and then select continue once again. So I have entered the OTP, let's select continue option. And now you can see you have successfully added a pay account. So we have got that detail, select then option. Now you need to wait for 30 minutes in order to complete the transaction. But I'm not going to wait 30 minutes. I'm just going to show you a demo how you can transfer the money after 30 minutes. So let's assume that you have opened the application after 30 minutes and again, select money transfer option, go to add or manage pay option over here. And as I told you earlier, you will be able to check out all the, uh, you know, list of accounts you have added uh, as a beneficiary or as a pay. So you can select that particular account directly from here and select transfer option. On the next page, you need to enter the amount, date is automatically uh, over here. Now you need to select transfer mode. So if you want to do immediate transfer, you can select IMPS. Next is NEFT option. So if you select NEFT and if you transfer the money, it will be transferred within one hour. So you can choose whichever option you want. In my case, I'm going to select IMPS, enter the remarks and then select continue option. But if you're transferring the money for the first time, uh, don't forget to enter a small amount and check if the transfer is uh, you know happening properly or not. If it is happening properly, then you can transfer a big amount. So in my case, I'm going to transfer 100 rupees just for the uh, testing purpose. Let's select IMPS and let's select remark as test. So after entering all the details, select continue option. Again, check the details, select this terms and conditions and tap on confirm. Now on the next page, you get two options. One is either you can choose mobile number or else you can choose email ID to get OTP. So I'm going to choose mobile number and then select continue. Now enter the OTP received on your mobile number and again, select continue option. So after entering OTP, select continue. And now you can see transfer is complete. So you can check out the reference number over here. You can check out all other details over here. If you want to download this, you have an option of download. If you want to share this receipt, you can share as well. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.